Perhaps it is divine favor that makes the sky Carolina blue. North Carolina behind their star quarterback, Drake May, taking I-85 South, headed to Charlotte for a collision with an old rival as Matt Brown leads his team in. Carolina just has to be better defensively in causing problems for the opposing offense. Spencer Rattler and the Gamecocks are too good if Carolina's not going to give them pressure. Whatever happens, just be, just be, do what we do in practice. Because I have seen exponential improvement. You ain't got to do anything else. You are enough. You are enough. Every night, you just do what we're asking you to do. You are enough. We're taking our respect back tonight. Don't try to do too much. You've been playing against guys like this all spring. All fall, you play against guys like this every day. Go play, and then when that play's gone, get to the next one. And then get to the next one. Keep piling them on like we've been piling them on. Let's go have some fun and get after their ass. Come on, baby. All Carolina blue tonight. The Carolina blue helmets with the white NC on the side. The Carolina blue jerseys with white numbers and letters. Carolina blue trousers as well with the Argyle and white down the side. Kicking off for Carolina is Ryan Co. Co up to the football, and we are underway. South Carolina will start on the 25-yard line on possession number one. After last season, the narrative that was put on us is that we weren't tough. Um, we couldn't stop the run. We couldn't defend it and, um, on the back end and the secondary. Um, pretty much as overall that we weren't a good defense. You know, the whole persona of the defense last year was that uh, we really weren't that good. We weren't that productive. Um, as the defense gave up a lot of points. So I think going into this offseason, you know, we just wanted to change the narrative, wanted to create a new culture on defense. I think we definitely showed that a lot in the first game. Now it's just up to us to show it that we're going to be the ones out there making plays. We're the ones out there causing havoc. So if that's what we're going to be hanging our hat on, then we got to show that we can't just say it. Mentality going into the first game, the first drive, the second half ball snaps, we knew what was going to happen. Better, better said is just that we got sick and tired of that narrative, so um, we had to do something about it. South Carolina is going to start by flipping it out to the far side, and Carolina shuts the door. Pretty darn nice start for that Tar Heel D. A handoff and an immediate stop in the backfield. Came in Rucker, nice in. As the game winded down, man, it just, um, Satisfying to know that in this first game, you know, going against South Carolina on the same stage, having that second chance to go against the same team in the same city in the same stadium and coming out with a um, victorious win, you know, it was very satisfying. But we also knew that the work wasn't over. We have a lot of things to accomplish. We have a lot of things to fix. And although we came out with a dub, we weren't satisfied of how we need to continue the season. The Tar Heels are going to start on their own 30-yard line. Drake May in the shotgun. It will be British Brooks. First time we've seen British Brooks since the game against South Carolina here in Charlotte at the end of the 2021 season. I just seen it as like an opportunity, just for, you know, another year to just work on my craft, something I can use to get better. Just going out there, you know, giving it my all. I mean, that was the only thing. Doing uh, doing what I can to help a team win. I remember the first play because the first play is probably was the one they were stressing all week about, you know, this is going to be a big play. So that first play, I definitely remember me just getting out in the flat real uh, early and Drake hit me on the run. The graduate suitor from Gastonia getting the start at running back. May, though, going to roll out to the left, dump it off to Brooks. He's at the 35 and dragged down from behind at around the 38-yard line. Just walking back and forth down the sideline, you know, uh, staying with the offense 
And I was walking past him, and you know, he just slapped me on the butt and said, "Long was coming real soon." And I think, I think it might have been like the next drive. I just broke around the corner, so it was just like, dang, like he really, he really just caught it. Carolina moving left to right, second and two, turn around, handoff to British Brooks, pops off one tackle, keeps his feet, has a first down. Handoff to British Brooks, Brooks angling to the left, into the secondary, knocked down from behind at the 35-yard line. Trying to hold it in, because, you know, really not trying to think about it, the week leading up to the game, so, and just knowing that that you just did what you were supposed to do all summer, all, all fall camp. And then just to play that same team that was my last game, you know, just a lot of emotion that just came over me. Yeah, it was an opportunity you know, for us to set the tone. Um, we hadn't played well in Charlotte. Um, the last two times we've been there, um, we saw South Carolina um, two years ago there. and um, I think we put our best foot forward there. And same thing with Clemson, um, the AC Championship last year. So we felt like it was an opportunity for us to flip the script in Charlotte. And not only um, that, just from, from last season, you know, ended on the way we did. Just have an opportunity to start off 1-0 um, against the SEC opponent. And just had some guys step up. Um, felt like we ran the ball well as well. So just an all around um, good team win. Tariel sent three receivers, including British Brooks, to the near side. Bryson Nesbitt and JJ Jones out far right. Third and four. Tariel's two of three on third down. May, a lot of time to throw. Now rolls out to the left side. Still eyes down the field. Now he's going to the right. Throws back to the middle. Caught first down. Bryson Nesbitt brings it in at the Gamecock 42-yard line. May claps his hands, gets the clean snap. Has time to throw, rips it complete, caught the 20 first down. Cutting to the near side is J.J. Jones. He'll get close to the 15 to move the sticks. May, play action, gonna throw. Has a man open, touchdown, Carolina! Cody Paysor cradles it home for six. May rolling out to the right, looking back to the left. He's going to try one deep. Black. Yes, has it. Tariel first and goal. Tariel zone. Not wasted any time. May claps his hands. Immediately looks to his left. Pressure there. May throws up the Coming back and making the catch is Copenhaver for the touchdown. Copenhaver on his knees with one hand for six. As the Tar Heels win it 31-17 over South Carolina. What a statement by the Tar Heels tonight against the Gamecocks. It wasn't perfect, but man, it was fun to watch this team fly around tonight. So proud of you. Tougher, longer. Took your respect back, which is what we asked yes. you to do, and you did that without question because we could have folded. We could have folded a number of times, and we didn't. We just kept fighting. Uh, what about that defense in the red zone? Yeah. Yeah. What a sweet way to start the Jordan year of 2023. Appalachian State, man, they um, they are going to bring it every single time going against us. You know, a lot of people don't give App State credit for what they do. They're a very respectable team. They know how to dominate a game. I feel like for us, we just had to learn how to stay resilient. I know for a team like that, man, they're going to go down to the wire for with uh, whatever they got. Staying consistent and staying together, I feel like those are our main points of emphasis. Of course, we're just um, staying tough and causing havoc. Those, of course, are the things that we always go into every game trying to accomplish. But I feel like those three things, we have to stay with, um, with those three core values as well, because if not, 
anything can happen. All in. Everybody all in. All we want is all we got. You make sure you're accountable to your teammates. You're accountable to each other. Same with me. Same with our coaches. Same with our staff. High energy. All night. Got to run the ball. Play action. Protect your quarterback. When you run the ball, things are open. Got to stop the run. Put pressure on their quarterback. And then we got to win special teams. It's simple but hard to do. Let's go win. Yeah. <laughs> Appalachian wins the toss, selects to defer. That means Carolina's going to have the football first. And the Tar Heels will take over at the 25 on the fair catch. You know, going into the game plan and not being married to one thing, um, whether it's running the ball for 300 yards or, or throwing it for 300, um, just taking whatever defense gives us and, and sticking to the script. The Heels will keep it on the ground with Hampton. Hampton lowers his shoulder. Third and five for the Tar Heels. They're going to keep it on the ground. Coming to the left side, Hampton powering. May is going to hand off. Wrapping to the near side is Hampton, and he's spun out of bounds after he crosses the 30. Here comes Hampton, left side. He's in the open. Hampton 40, one man to beat 30. Goodbye! Touchdown, Carolina! The Tar Heels on top, baby! 68 yards, a career long by Omarion Hampton, and there was not a Mountaineer in the zip code on the entire run. It meant the world to me because I've seen him grow, just seeing the growth in him, so uh, it means like I've been doing my job just being an older brother to him. We gotta keep pushing, man. You can't you can't stop the game at halftime. There's a there's there's a halftime for a reason. You got your first half and you got your second half. If you didn't do so well in the first half, well this is your this is a second chance to get it right in the second half. So, you know, I feel like that was a very important thing for us. Um, even though we did not put on the best product on the field in the first half, I feel like for the second half we understood it's just like listen, the game is not over. It's zero zero still. We gotta come out scorching hot, we gotta make plays, we gotta make plays on offense, we gotta make plays on defense. We got to execute every play call. We got to stay resilient and we got to stay together. Like I said previously, as long as long we stay with those few things, man, that's all we need because we got the guys to do it. We got the attitude to do it. We got the mentality to do it. Now we just got to execute and put everything out on the field like we're supposed to. Eight fifteen and counting. It's going to be a jet sweep coming to the near side and run down from behind by Cedric Gray. That is the fourth tackle for loss today for Carolina defensively. App has scored points on three of its last four possessions, two touchdowns and a field goal. Aguilar out of the pistol, will play action, roll to the right. Pressure coming from Cedric Gray. Intercepted! Don Chapman with the pick! The difficult throw, Chapman with the interception, Tariel's head the other way. We kept on feeding them on. I think we had you know, three or four straight carries to him in overtime. Um, they're, they're, you know, the whole defense was coming up trying to, trying to stop him on, and I don't blame him. He ran for you know, 200, almost 300 yards, um, so I wouldn't blame him. Blackwell out, wide left. Jones to the right, Morales out there as well. Hampton standing to the left of May. Copenhaver. A tight end on the left side of the line. Now Morales comes in motion. In overtime, you know, we knew they couldn't, you know, tackle 28. And um, in the second, the second overtime, um, just we're feeding 28 all night. And, you know, they had their eyes in the backfield just trying to make a play. May pulls it away from Hampton. May around the left side. Touchdown. App sold out on Hampton. Yep. That left the freeway open for May. We knew we just had to get a stop going into overtime, you know. We knew the offense were going to do their thing and, and score the ball, so we knew it was really kind of up to us if we just get the stop that um, we'll win the game.
It was a lot just transferring in and um, meeting the new guys and getting to know everybody, getting to know the personnel that's around. And honestly, just waiting to prove myself to the guys other than work out and running and just getting on the field and showing my, my work and showing what I can do. Mentality-wise, going into the game, like it's going to be a four-quarter battle. Like Can't let up. Also, just finish the game whenever we can and um, really just stand down and compete to the, to the last seconds on the clock. First play, it was, um, we seen that last year. I think they scored on that same exact play that they tried to run last year in like the fourth quarter around that time. So me seeing that play last year and also repping it in practice this week, the tight end kind of ran like a wheel route. I came on it. All right, so Adams now gonna try from the 25. Aguilar on the wheel route. Intercepted down the far sideline. Puffy defending against Eli Wilson on the plug. Then the second play, it was kind of, they've been running that same play all day. The second and third play was kind of like the same plays, but instead of the second play, he, he took it shallow and they trying to just gain a couple yards to get the, get, like, get the ball down the field more. And I just ran over top through the mesh and made a tackle. Everybody tight to the line. Noel standing to the right of Aguilar. Double overtime, heels up 40 to 34. Aguilar to throw. Pressure coming off his back foot. Caught by Davis. Great right tackle. Great tackle. By Hussey. Well short of the first down. At the 20, it will be fourth and five. And then the third play, me and Gio actually switched guys. And he was tight to the floor, so that usually that's like an over route, like an under route. And they've been running crossing routes all game. So I kind of just figured in the back of my mind, like, they've been doing it all game. Why would they stop now? So, And also, it's been working all game, so why, why stop now? So, If they don't get a first, Carolina wins the game. 40 to 34. Here's the shotgun snap to Aguilar. Drops back. Pressure coming. Aguilar floats it up. Incomplete! It felt great. Um, I felt really good to be able to do that for them because I know they would do it for me. And everybody was cheering me on. It wasn't just one or two guys, the whole team. Everybody slapping my head, right and left. Like, it, was, it was fun. It felt great. It felt like I, um, I put my foot down and I proved to them that I could be uh, what they needed in this defense. We can get so much better. That's a good thing. We won and didn't play near as good as we can. So that, that's, that's the important thing. Yep. Omari yes. ran for 230 yards. Yeah. Yeah. than Greg May when the game's on the line and you got to compete. Unbelievable what he did a couple of times taking the drive. And how about that defense for the stop at the end of the game? Yeah. Yeah. Love each other. Half the people out there got beat tonight. A lot of them are 0 2. More are 1 and 1. You are damn sure 2 and 0. Yeah. Yeah. So every snap we can get them off the field, make their defense stay on the fields, hot out there for them. Fourth quarter's important. Stay on the field offensively, score in the red zone. Get them off the field offensively, knock some balls loose, and get off that field on third down, keep them out of the end zone, and, and you have got a fight, and I'm damn proud of you, and we are prepared. Let's go win the game. Let's go! Let's go! You know, I keep saying when Coach Lindsey keeps preaching, you know, every game can be different, you know, whether it's running the ball um, for a bunch of yards or throwing it for a bunch of yards. You know, the way Minnesota, big, tough, Big Ten team, um, they, 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 they focus on stopping the run and stopping 28 and British. You know, I feel like we kind of got a groove in the passing game, um, had a lot of different guys, and they had a big day. I feel like I had a uh, 
pretty solid uh, two weeks of practice uh, before uh, the App State game. You know, they was trying to work me back in. Then coming into Minnesota, the game plan, you know, um, you know, I just try to be as versatile as possible. You know, try to be, I feel like every player wants to be as explosive as possible to help uh, the team out, you know, and just create momentum. Throughout the week, it was going to be uh, pretty slot heavy uh, with the defense they play, you know. Uh, we wanted to get the ball in the air a good bit, uh, but it was just one of those uh, days, uh, one of those games for me. On second and seven, slow mesh, pulls it away, complete over the middle, McCollum first down, caught it at the 40, and wrestled down at the 45. Played and go as planned. Uh, it was a scramble drill. And I just went to green grass and Drake, you know, Drake go be Drake, you know, he gonna create the plays, put it on the money. It's just, it's our job to finish it. Yeah, I kind of, when I, after I caught it, I kind of blacked out because I was uh, super turt, but yeah. May, clean pocket, now he rolls out to the right. He's gonna try to go deep, has a man there. Pressure coming, and the throw tipped up in the air, and intercepted, Power Echoes able to make the pick. It elevated up, Echoes came in and cradled it down. Hey, you got 30 minutes, you got 30 minutes, and the first five mean everything. The first five mean everything. We need to win the game. Big man's game. Big man's game. Let's win the game. Got it? It will be a play action. Has a lot of time to throw over the middle. Chapman tips it up in the air and falls to the ground incomplete. Pressure comes. Hit as he is throwing. He just lofts it up and it's intercepted. Intercepted in the end zone. Armani Chapman gets his first takeaway of the target. Pressure coming from Minnesota. Tariel's doing a nice job picking it up as May throws and a sliding grab by McCollum. A little inside handoff to British Brooks. Leaps over the defender and hits Pater for six. And that will do it. So Carolina improves to 3-0 and for the second consecutive year. Congratulations on a great win. They're a really good football team, undefeated football team coming into our house. Yeah. Where'd they come? Our house. Where'd they come? Our house. It was a complete team victory because offense sometimes just took over and moved it. Defense was not going to let them in and did a great job and forced some turnovers that have really game. And I thought it was really fitting because the way you fought, and I love you so much for that. You you fought like Mitch fights every day. Mitch talks. Like Coach said, man, I'm so proud of y'all. The way that y'all fought, y'all hung together, y'all stuck together as a team, as one, and that's what it takes to succeed, right? It's never about the suffering, it's about overcoming it. Sir, and you sir. guys overcame the challenge that you had. Hey, your DNA is toughness. Yes. Toughness is not always in your muscles, it's in your soul and spirit. Yes, sir. And you fought today, and you showed toughness, and I'm so proud of you. Yes, Great job. Yes. We talked about toughness in pregame. This man is tough. Yes, sir. This man is tough. Yes, this is his house. Yes, this is his house. Yes, sir. We dedicated it to you, brother. Yes, sir.
I'm definitely proud of this team and uh, the way that we started this season going 3-0. Um, I think we definitely had some challenges as well in these first three games and we were able um, to, to get wins in all of them. Um, but nobody's on their high horse. We're still very, very early in the season. What Mac is talking about, you know, we, we, we want to go from good to great. There isn't no high horse. We're just on a steady grind and, and trying to meet those goals that we have for ourselves. Oh, no, it's, it's one to know every week. I mean, to me, you know, as, as a team, I feel like we know, you know, Pitt is known for being tough and all that. So I feel like, you know, it's time to, you know, for us to start making a name for ourselves, being tough, because we are, you know, physical. And for me, it's just, same thing every week, I'm on go, so it don't matter who we playing, I just see everybody is faceless. Yeah, going into AC play, you know, trying to set the tone. You know, I feel like South Carolina was the opportunity to set the tone um, for our season, and uh, Pitt, this opportunity to go into a hostile environment up there in Pittsburgh, it's always tough to play up there. Um, the last two times I've been up there has been overtime, so uh, get another chance to set the tone for, you know, coming into conference play, and, uh, you know, they're, they're always play tough, and so we got to bring it, and uh, we're looking forward to it.